welcome to Pandora's Box. Today I will rank the top 10 most beautiful cards of Pokemon Shining Fates according to concept and quality of illustrations. There is no common artistic theme to this set as this is basically a filler set between proper expansions. The cards are not as pretty as those from Green Voltage or Pedal Styles, but there are still a number of gems here. Here is my top 10 list of the most beautiful cards in Shining Fates. First at number 10, I have Delmice V by SK Yoshino. I do not like the concept of the Pokemon. I mean, it's just weird that it is a ship anchor and is living and breathing. That aside, I like the depiction of the deep sea, the bubbles and the sun rays reflected in the carvings. And number 9 is Frozel by Akira Igawa. The rainbow colour background is psychedelic and this would not have been out of place if it had been made as an amazing rare card. But okay, I do admit, this is basically a filler for me to fill up the top 10. And number 8 is Spinarak by Soso. There's no Komiya in Shiny Fates, but Soso is a great artist in his or her right. So I think this is the next best. Then at number 7, I have Cromoran V by AKY CG Works. The 3D rendered Cromoran V is put on a photorealistic backdrop this is not really my cup of tea, but there are water, trees, clouds, and rainbows and tasks. It has to be included by default. And number 6, I have Kyogre by Anesaki Dynamic. The Pokemons on the Amazing Rare cards are bland. Thus, the rainbow backdrop steals the show. The foiling is very very pretty when you see the card in person. There are different types of foilings with swirls and rays and anything. This platter pattern right, is my favourite out of them all. And number 5, I have Skylar by Kirisaki. Oh yeah! Finally, I get some fan service in Pokemon. Pokemon is a very kid-friendly product and most of their female trainers are not sexualized. This is not the case for Skylar. Skylar and Jessica are fighting to be the characters with the biggest boobs in Pokemon. Big boobs equal an automatic best waifu award. Moving on to number 4, I have Poke Kick by Sanosuke Sakuma. Like I mentioned in the last card, most of Pokemon's female characters are very kid friendly. This is a good example. She is charming, adorable, and will appeal to people of all ages and genders. Then at number 3, I have Celebi by Yu Nishido. Celebi is one of my favorite Pokemons, and this artwork captures the playfulness of this legendary Pokemon very, very well. Finally, at number 2, I have Mopiko by Saya Shuruta. This card is truly beautiful. It reminds me of some of the Japanese cartoons like Doraemon that I used to watch as a kid. This is one of only two cards here, right, that I think have that have a realistic chance of breaking the, the top 10 most beautiful cards of other Pokemon sets. Before I review the number one card of Shining Fates, let's look at some honorable mentions. I think you already know this list is gonna be short. My first honorable mention is Galarian Ponita by Sanosuke Sakuma. This is the vaulted shiny V card. I think this Ponita here is the best drawn amongst all the shiny V Pokemons. The sparkly background is actually not bad, but when you put it in 122 other cards, right, then it becomes disgusting. My last honorable mention is Eternatus V Max by Five Bank Graphics. This is a nice stylistic choice, again, not my cup of tea, but I just want to sound out my approval with the Pokemon company's willingness to experiment with new styles. Before I review the number one card for Shining Fates, please remember to like and subscribe to Pandora's Box. I post new videos daily, so please remember to check back for more content like this. The number one most beautiful card in Shining Fates is Eevee by Sotaro. Barring my disappointment for all the other cards in Shining Fates, my draw dropped when I saw this Eevee for the first time. I got this card from one of my first few packs that I opened, and I thought that I was going to be in for a good time with all the other artwork in Shining Fates but how wrong I was. This artwork is a tier above any other cards in Shining Fates. I'm sure most people can agree with me on this, unless their eyes are stamped shut with a money sign and they think that the awful Charizard is beautiful just because it is expensive. I cannot remember if I've seen cards by Sotaro in the other Pokemon sets that have opened, but I greatly anticipate to see all his other works. This is my list for the top 10 most beautiful cards in Pokemon Shining Fates. My list, of course, is very subjective. If you have another list, 
your list is probably wrong. If you like what you see, please visit my channel for more box openings, set reviews, top 10s and content created for nerds in general. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!